Today I'm going to take you through a 45 minute upper body dumbbell workout for size and strength. I'm going to be using a few different pairs of dumbbells and a bench but I'll show you options that you can do with or without the bench and just make do with the dumbbells that you've got. We're going to kick things off with a very light dumbbell or you could even use some small weight plates, shoulder warm up and then we'll get into the three main strength sections. Let's get going. So we're going to start things off with some very light dumbbells. I've just got some two kilo ones here, but you could just use some small plates as well. We're going to have some bent over Y raises. It's a great one for hitting the upper back and rear delts, just warming the shoulders up and improving your mobility before we go into that strength workout. So we want to keep locked elbows slight external rotation at the top, turning your thumbs away from one another. I'm in a slight bent over row position. You don't want to go too heavy on this. This is just a warm up. Great for opening the lats out a little bit as well. Okay, lying on the bench or on the floor, you're going to go on your side. You're going to do these external rotations. So your elbow is going to be at 90 degrees. It's going to stay at 90 degrees throughout. You're just going to externally rotate, keeping the upper part of your arm in contact with your body the whole time. Feel a little burn in the back of the shoulder. And switching to the other side. You really do want to stay light for these. I'm using two kilograms, that's about four to five pounds, I believe. It's just good to warm those rotator cuffs up. Usually if you get a shoulder injury, it won't be your main deltoid muscle, it'll be one of those smaller supporting muscles. Right, on your feet, you're going to do some shoulder extensions backwards. So you're going to draw back and then come back in line with your legs. Draw them back as far as you can. You're going to keep a flat back and then again in that slight bent over row posture. Let's keep a proud chest. You're going to pull the shoulder blades together, get a stretch across the front of the shoulder. and keep straight arms, you might feel the long head of your tricep firing up as well. And then we're gonna go into some side to front raises. So out to the side, straight to the front, and repeat. So we're gonna do two rounds of these, and then we'll go to some heavier dumbbells and get into the main workout. There's no gap between this exercise and the next round, so we're going to go straight back into those slight bent over Y raises in a couple of seconds. We've got a five second transition, but that's it. Okay, so we're going to go into this position like this, and we're off. So keeping those arms straight, slight external, external rotation to the arms at the top. This is a great posture exercise as well for improving your upper back posture. All right, lying on your side on the floor or on a bench. We're doing those external rotations. When you're doing external rotations, you want to make sure you're working against gravity. Big mistake I see is people doing this exact movement but standing bolt upright. But it's not really working in the right force area. It's just pointless, so this is a much better variation. I can feel this burning even with these twos. So make sure that 
elbow staying tucked to the side. It's not a lateral raise, it's just an external rotation. After this, we're going into those shoulder extensions. Okay, so you're gonna go into that bent over row position, pulling back. Keep straight arms, pull those shoulder blades together, opening the chest out. Okay, we got that side to front raise now. Almost done with the warm up. This is our last warm up exercise. Then we're going to start off with a dumbbell bench press or a floor press. All right, so I'm gonna to go to some 20 kilo dumbbells. That's around 44 pounds per dumbbell. If you haven't got a bench, you can just do a floor press. Uh, we're gonna be doing three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off of four different exercises using these weights. Then we'll move to new exercises and new weights. Let's get ready to go. So nice controlled tempo on the way down. Squeeze the chest as you come up. You don't want to hold too long at the top. We want to maintain time under tension. So as soon as you reach full range, come straight back into that next rep. Next up, we're gonna go onto a prone row on the bench. If you haven't got a bench, you can do a bent over row instead. I'm just gonna put it up one notch on the adjustable bench. So you're gonna row back towards the pockets. You shouldn't be pulling a straight line should be pulling up and backwards, making sure you're hitting those lats, not just the arms. push press next so you don't need the bench for this one it's basically a shoulder press from a neutral grip you're going to allow a little drive of the leg bench flat, take one dumbbell, you can do this on the floor or the bench. If you're doing it on the floor I recommend propping your back up slightly with a cushion. 
gonna do some pullovers. <laughs> So you're gonna keep a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. Should just be a slight bend in the arm. You're gonna reach overhead till you feel your lats stretching. Pull back over your chest. Don't go so far that it hurts your shoulders though. Great job. So there's the first of three rounds done. Got two more, and then we're gonna lower the weight and change the exercises. And if you haven't got a big weight selection, like I said before, just make do with what you've got. It's all better than nothing, isn't it? Just putting some elbow sleeves on, keep my elbows warm. We're gonna go back to that bench press or floor press if you haven't got a bench so a nice controlled lowering phase it's called the eccentric phase of the lift and then squeeze your chest together on the effort phase that's called the concentric Part of the lift, we're trying to minimize time spent at the top when your elbows are locked out. And in that way, we maximize the time under tension, which is how you get good results when you're trying to develop some muscle. those prone rows or a bent over row, whichever you fancy. So that push press next. It's a shoulder press with a little leg drive to start off the movement. the hardest one for me with these weights. I'm on to that pullover, so I'm gonna put the bench flat. If you're on the floor and you've got a little cushion, you could prop your upper back up, and give you a little bit more range of motion in this exercise. That's a nice little stretch on the upper back as well.
four. Great job. There's two rounds done. We've got one to go. So we're gonna go back to that bench press. for that last round. onto that bent over row or prone row. Push press next. When you lock out overhead, make sure you're not leaning back. And a nice straight line. Oh, the top few last seconds. Let's try one more. Definitely pushing it on that. Okay, we've got the last exercise in this section. Those pullovers. After this, I'm gonna move down to a pair of 15 kilo dumbbells. That's about 33 pounds each. And we'll show you some new exercises. So you can put those to the side. If you've got a selection, I'm gonna go for a slightly lighter pair of dumbbells now. And we're gonna do same format, three rounds, but with some new exercises. If you're enjoying this, if you'd like a more structured sets and reps strength plan, check out my dumbbell plan ebook, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's got video demos for all the exercises. Um, it's a great plan for getting you stronger and putting some size on. 
Let's start off with this shoulder press. You can do this as a strict press if you haven't got a bench. Okay, next up, we're gonna do some alternating hammer curls. So you can do these standing. I'm just gonna put the bench back to a slight incline ready for a later exercise. So pick up your dumbbells, you know, alternate arms into a hammer curl. So a hammer curl is like a bicep curl, but there's no twist at the top. It's great for hitting the forearm muscles a bit. Okay, next up, you can either put your bench at a slight incline, or if you prefer to do it flat, that's fine. Or you can do these on the floor. You're gonna do some dumbbell flies. If you're on the floor, again, I recommend propping yourself up with a cushion. So you're gonna open the chest out, and then draw together. and keep that elbow angle consistent throughout the whole fly. All right, we've got one more we're gonna do. An overhead tricep extension. Uh, we can do this standing or seated. You're gonna take a dumbbell, just one of them. And you're gonna extend overhead, drop nice and low, back behind, extend to straight. Try and keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. All right, so there's round one of three done. Let's put the bench back up ready for that shoulder press. And get ready to go. Get a quick drink. So you want to control the way down, just like you were before. Press to full extension, but try not to hold too long at the top. And you don't need to come so down, so far down that it rests on your shoulders at the bottom. Just 
having the handles level with the base of your ears is low enough. All right, we've got those alternating hammer curls now. Hitting those biceps, and you're gonna hit a muscle called your brachioradialis, which runs down the forearm here. You know, alternating sides. Squeeze the bicep at the top, and then make sure you're lowering the dumbbells with control. Doing the eccentric part of the lift is just as important for developing strength and size as doing the way up. Minimize the swing, obviously. We've got those dumbbell flies now. You can do them flat or incline, whatever works for you. So you're keeping a consistent elbow angle. So it should be a very slight bend in the elbow. You're gonna open the chest muscle, muscle out. Feel the stretch and then squeeze the chest together as you come in. You don't need to come all the way in because there's no resistance really at the top of the movement. I do prefer cable flies when you've got cables available, but for these home workouts, I'm gonna assume most of you don't have cables and dumbbell flies are better than none at all. Great job. Okay, we've got those tricep extensions, that behind head extension, just using a single dumbbell. Nice deep drop behind your head. Try not to let your elbows flare out, try and keep them tucked in. Definitely feeling some fatigue now. All right, there's two down, one to go in this section. And then we've actually got a third and final lighter dumbbell section where we're gonna be doing a few more isolation movements. Mainly, well, we've got some compound ones in in these first two. We're gonna hit some shoulders, a little bit more arms in the last section. So get ready to go with these shoulder presses. Getting a burn now. Oh, I'm glad. Glad that's the last set of them. Running out of steam with that one. Got those alternating hammer curls now.
And we've got dumbbell. Dumbbell flies next. So remember, you don't need to come all the way in. Just leave about a foot between the dumbbells and the center. You really want to actively try and squeeze your chest muscle together. Oh. Final exercise in this section is going to be those overhead tricep extensions. After these, going on to the third and final section. I'm going to go down again in weight. I'm going to go down to about nine kilos a dumbbell. That should be around 20 pounds per dumbbell. Obviously, just use whatever weight is suitable for you. But I get questions asking what I'm using. So there it is. Oh, 45 seconds off. Grab those lighter dumbbells. If you want to get a better result, you're going to have to start taking care of your nutrition as well. So if you want some support with that, I've got a lean body nutrition plan for helping you get leaner and a lean muscle nutrition plan for helping you grow muscle without gaining too much fat. They're linked in the description below as well. Uh, you can't just do one part of the puzzle. You've got to bring both together. Otherwise, you won't be getting optimal results. We're going to go with some lateral raises now. I can already tell I've gone too heavy. Well, let's finish this set. I'm gonna switch down to some eight kilo dumbbells right after this set. Or maybe I'll finish the whole round first. If you ever start a section, you just, it's too heavy, your form's not good, just pause the video. You can always go lighter. We're gonna do some skull crushes now, also known as tricep extensions. So hinge at the elbow. The dumbbells are gonna come close to the tops of your ears, extend at the elbow to straight and repeat. Try not to let the elbows flare out to the sides too much. I like to actually just brush the tops of my ears with the dumbbell, but make sure you don't plonk yourself in the head. A lower with control on that eccentric face. And straighten the arms at the top, because that's what the triceps do, they straighten the arm. So you can go to full lockout, that's fine. All right, we've got some drag curls next. One you might not have tried before. So it's essentially a bicep curl, but we're gonna get the dumbbells traveling up in a straight line. So you're gonna draw up, squeeze the biceps, and then back down. At the top, your forearms should be parallel to the floor, and your elbows should be behind your body. You're gonna try and minimize 
shrugging your shoulders up. So keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. You're just gonna squeeze the bicep hard at the top and then lower back down. All right. Next up, we've got some alternating front raises. So one at a time, just lifting the dumbbells out to the front of the body. Make sure you're not leaning back though. Great job with that. Got a brief break now. We're gonna swap these dumbbells out for something slightly lighter. We're gonna start back with those lateral raises. The nines felt fine when I was practicing, but after those two first sections, Definitely feeling some fatigue in the shoulders. Let's get you ready to go. That's feeling a little better. I'm trying to control the way down as well. You can unlock the elbows. Shouldn't be bending the arms too much but unlocking them is fine. <laughs> oh. We've got those skull crushers next. Do these on the floor or a bench, it doesn't matter. Got the drag curls. So technique tips, just because this is going to be new for some of you. We're going to travel up pretty much in a straight line. Your forearms are going to be parallel to the floor at the top, and elbows should be pulled back behind your body. Squeeze your biceps at the top, so you're going to hold for a second at the top, and coming back down. I'm trying to minimize shrugging my shoulders although I understand that is difficult. Next, we've got those alternating front raise, predominantly hitting the front of the shoulder. So our lateral raises 
we're hitting the side of the shoulder, front's hitting the front. We've had a little bit on the rear delts earlier with some rows. Okay, we've got the final round, so stay with me. Don't go anywhere. You've just got those four exercises one more time through, and then we're done with the workout. If you want to do some more workouts with me, go onto my channel, check out the playlist tab. It's definitely underused. People often ask me, uh, can you do more like this? And there are more like this on my channel. You just have to find the dumbbell workouts playlist. Um, and you'll see there's a whole range of exercises there, different body parts, different lengths that you can have a go at. Let's go with these lateral raises. Okay, on to the skull crushes. Remember, don't let the elbows flare out to the sides. Try and minimize the movement of the upper part of your arm between your armpits and your elbow. That should be staying relatively fixed. Two to go. We've got those drag curls, and we've got those alternating front raises. Last exercise now. We've got the alternating front raise. If you still got energy and you want to keep going, I'm going to link a ab workout at the end of this video so you could get a little bit of core done to finish. I'll also show you a little preview video just explaining a little bit about that 12 week dumbbell ebook. I'm really proud of the plan. It's as close to the type of plan and program that I personally follow as I can create with just dumbbells. But the majority of my training is with dumbbells anyway. 
So, 12 week plan, similar to how I train, linked in the description and a little promo video also, which you can have a look at. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you following along from? I really do like to hear that. Here's a link to a video explaining a little bit more about that dumbbell ebook I was talking about. And if you fancy carrying on your workout, here's an ab workout that you could do right now. Hit the thumbs up button, support the channel, subscribe, and see you again soon for another workout.